Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on Crime Record Management System. So let us begin. Let us now see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am just creating a new object of class crime. This class is a GUI form to create one. You can go over here in the project package, click on new, click on Swing UI designer and click on GUI form. Uh, two files will be generated, one of .java file which I have named as crime.java and uh, the other .form file to create the interface. Let's see how the interface is created. I have added the JText fields over here and named as uh, ID data, name data, crime data respectively and added these buttons, J buttons and a panel over here with the uh, J scroll pane and under the J scroll pane I have added the J table. Okay. And over here in this space, the arrest date, I have added a panel over here and uh, named it as date crime. And this panel is of border layout. Okay. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, this layout is a grid layout and this layout is a border layout. And I have named this panel as crime panel. Let's see the code. Okay, these fields will be generated automatically. And uh, I have uh, made a, I have made an object of uh, date chooser and uh, J frame. Okay, and this is my constructor. Uh, these are the code which you will require uh, whenever you create the object of uh, crime class this form will appear okay and uh, i have adjusted the size with the uh, with giving the height as 500 and uh, width as 600 this line will uh, adjust the uh, module or panel in the center of the screen and uh, you can uh, you need to pass your panel j panel in the set content pane method and then uh, I'm adding the date chooser object which uh, I have created over here in the date crime which was my uh, panel the with the border layout I'm adding the date chooser in this uh, uh, I'm using the IntelliJ ID so I need to hard code it this way otherwise in uh, all the other IDs uh, you can simply add the jar file to the palette and uh, it will be available in this palette over here so you can directly just drag and drop but in the IntelliJ ID you need to do it this way so let's move on to the functionality of the buttons this is my add button so add as listener to it I have already added one so let's see the functionality okay here is my add button I am first checking if all the fields are empty or not. If they are empty, then just popping a message with uh, this uh, please fill all fields to add record. And if, uh, if they are not null, if the user has entered something, then just uh, injecting this query. I am storing this query part in the uh, variable SQL and then making the connection with this connection object and then using the prepared statement to run the query okay this uh, and then uh, setting all the uh, input from the user into the database so first i am just uh, using this method uh, set int as my query uh, has a case as my database has the case ID as integer name as string crime type as string age as integer and the arrest date as string so accordingly I have uh, chosen the method set int and set string okay uh, all the text fields are of 
type string so uh, whenever uh, wherever i have needed the integer part i am passing it otherwise i am just passing it directly uh, okay uh, and this is my date which uh, you will choose in from the calendar and uh, i am formatting it in the way that the user will see okay and then simply updating it and passing and uh, popping the message item added successfully and setting all the fields to empty and uh, the calendar also to null and if uh, anything goes wrong in the try block then uh, popping the message with the error this ex exception dot get message and then updating the table in the interface okay this is about the add button and let's see our update button uh, this uh, this also works in the similar way except that we have a different query uh, so this is my query where I am just uh, simply taking the input from the user and updating it and uh, taking the ID case ID as uh, what the user has passed into the text field and uh, building the connection and using the prepared statement to run the query and updating it simply and uh, popping the message with update successfully and if anything goes wrong in this uh, simply just printing the message in the console you can also use the uh, j option pane to create a pop-up and then after doing everything updating in the in the ui uh, okay this is the uh, mouse listener which you can add like this go over to the table and uh, right click on here and create listener you can create a listener with uh, the option mouse listener okay this mouse listener will be created what i am doing here is uh, uh, making a, an object of uh, default model of type default model default table model parsing it uh, uh, passing it in this form and then uh, using the uh, se selected row to get the selected row this is the inbuilt method which uh, is available whenever you click on the table okay and uh, simply just uh, setting the text in my uh, data fields uh, to the one with the chosen uh, chosen row okay uh, okay and this is my table data method uh, i am simply printing the uh, data available in the database to the table in the interface i am building the connection and storing the query uh, storing the result of the query in the result set and simply using a method set model and uh, passing uh, this is the method which i have created on my own but uh, you can use dbutils dot uh, result set to uh, table model method and pass the result set into that uh, this is the method which i have created it, it is uh, it works uh, exactly the same as that method so catching the exception if there is any uh, that's it and uh, let's see how the if the code works correctly okay here is uh, what is stored in my database on clicking it you can see these text fields are filled with the data and uh, you can add it also let's add one uh, record 103 name it as uh, something this let's say murder age is 24 date 4 add record okay it's get added 
and uh, if you want to update it just click over here all the entries are filled select the date and uh, let's say i need to change the age which is 27 okay it changes uh, our code works fine i hope you understood the working of the code Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.